Sally Pierce at the ranch with another idea, another tip for you guys. So here's the situation. In a previous video, I showed you how to sharpen your bush hog uh, rotary cutter blades. Actually sharpen them. How you actually sharpen them with the grinder, the angles, and so on. Which I couldn't find on YouTube. It may well be there, but I couldn't find it. So I thought I'd put it on. There's lots of videos on how to take the blades off and on, but that's pretty simple. So anyway, so I got the blades sharp. Now I got them back onto the uh, uh, rotary motor. Um, uh, bolts are up in place. They have locks on them and uh, the big nuts. It looks like this actually. There's a great big mother uh, uh, bolt like this. Uh, at least an inch in uh, diameter with a keyway on it and a couple of uh, 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 flanges. A big washer goes on top. And then that big nut goes on top of that <laughs> and locks down in the place. And that's where I ran into a problem. Getting this up in there uh, with, with uh, Diana's help my dear wife's help getting this uh, up the blade in place getting the bolt up through and lined up with the key and then the washer and the nut on from this side down through the uh, uh, the uh, peak hole is not a real big problem and then i was able to uh, hook up the uh, wrench it's an inch and a sixteenth so i had to use three quarter inch drive so i got a three this inch and a sixteenth three quarter inch drive can you see that here guys? Three quarter inch drive, and then I was going to use my half inch uh, ratchet uh, air hammer there, what him ratchet wrench. So I put a half to put an adapter from half to three quarter, and then the ratchet wrench goes into there, and uh, like so, and you give it a spin, and you're all set to go. It's a bit, a bit of a Mickey Mouse arrangement, but it uh, works really well up to this point. Now we run into the issue and the reason for this video. So the reason for this video is very simple. <clears throat> this goes on with a torque of 450 pounds. 450 pounds. Like uh, my F-150, six bolt F-150 axle uh, uh, stud nuts are 150 pounds. 450 pounds is the proper torque for this nut on the, uh, on the uh, cutter. That creates a problem. Because my good old uh, wrench, torque wrench, I have a couple of them, but the biggest one I have goes up to a, a two, 250 foot-pounds. Yeah, 250. It's a long way from 450. Now what do I do? Some people have suggested, well, what you do is you put a bar in there which is exactly 36 and a half inches long. Uh, no, it ain't going to work. I want this to be a little more accurate than that. So what I have, I've had it for a while, is a torque multiplier. A torque multiplier. Yep, that's what that is. So now <clears throat> I've got the uh, uh, socket, I got a short extension, and uh, I don't need the adapter anymore. Uh, and now I have a torque multiplier. Now maybe you've seen this in a hardware store, in a tool store, you looked at it and said, What the heck is that? Well, this is a torque multiplier. And it's a very, very simple device. And it's absolutely essential for this kind of job. Because I have a 100 or 250 max torque wrench, and I have to put 450 pounds of uh, foot pounds of torque on that. Uh, now, how do I do that? Well, I use a torque multiplier. So this torque multiplier, uh, this particular one, has a, uh, a torque uh, the ratio, maximum uh, torque uh, ratio of uh, three to one, 3.3 to one, actually. Yeah, 3.3 to 1. So all you have to do now is you've got this all set up, and it has to have a three-quarter inch uh, drive on it. I guess they figure if you need that torque multiplier, you're going to be using large sockets. So that you put your you put this wrench on to your uh, socket and extension, and you put the handle against something very, very firm, something very, very solid. Okay, that's simple enough. Now what do you do? Well, it's really very simple. It's 3.3 to 1, and I want 450 foot-pounds of torque. 450 divided by 3.3 .3 is 136. 136. So I set my half, my, my, my uh, half-inch drive torque wrench to 136. And I installed the torque wrench into the half-inch drive on the top of the torque multiplier. And then I put on my gloves. <laughs> because I've had my fingers get crushed before. And let me explain what happens. Once that's in the torque multiplier, now all you need to do is torque it until it clicks. Just like any other torque wrench, just torque it until it clicks. And what's happening? Well, when you torque with a torque multiplier, this handle will move, I don't know, it'll move a foot. 
The rest down there just turns a tiny, tiny bit because the torque multiplier, this thing, is multiplying the torque you're putting in by 3.3. You get the idea? So I'm going to be putting in 136 pounds down to the bottom that's going to come out at 450. Watch, like this. It's a big nut. You hear that? So the torque wrench is set for 136. The torque multiplier is 3.3 to 1. That nut is now on there with a proper torque of 450 foot-pounds. Just that simple. This is one of the shortest videos I've ever made, and I hope you enjoyed that. And you now see how a torque multiplier works. Some of you guys working on farms, and you got tractors where the, where the wheel uh, stud nuts are 300 foot-pounds of torque and other things, and so maybe a brush cut, like this. You need a torque multiplier. They're not expensive, and they're just that simple to work. Okay, that's it, guys. Alec Pierce at the ranch. I'm off to cut some hay. Bye-bye.